Do you know the difference between a kilowatt and a kilowatt hour? In this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. My name's Ben. We're electricians and solar installers based in Derby. And we do lots of helpful videos like this explaining the complicated parts of solar and hopefully making it really easy to understand and follow. So when you're asking us or asking your local installers how to do things, how things work, what you need to look out for, you've got that knowledge on basics like kilowatts and kilowatt hours and it's easy to understand. So in simple terms, a kilowatt is a measure of power and it might be something like an appliance, a hairdryer, a solar panel, a tumble dryer, anything like that and it's the amount of energy it uses at once. Whereas a kilowatt hour is a, a measure of what energy has been used over time. So this is what you get billed in, and this is what you get energy stored in for battery storage. This is the usage of energy at a time. Again, engineers out there will probably pull me up on all of this, but this is simplest terms, so it's easy to understand. So kilowatts, if you've got a seven kilowatt car charger, eight and a half kilowatt shower, things like that three kilowatt immersion heater. That's our power used at once. So for example, when you've got a solar array, which is nine kilowatts of solar on your roof, it could produce nine kilowatts at once. What you're actually wanting to look at is how many kilowatt hours in a day or a year or in 25 years it produces. So this is the difference between these two terms. Now, a one kilowatt heater running at one kilowatt for one hour going to produce one kilowatt hours that's what you're going to get billed on so if your tariffs are 40 pence per kilowatt hour and you run a one kilowatt heater for an hour you're going to get 40 pence of billing and similarly with solar if you're producing three kilowatts on the roof and you're doing that for three hours in the day you're going to have produced three kilowatts for three hours that's nine kilowatt hours so when it comes to battery storage, solar panels, solar inverters, they all cross over and it's, it's a pain sometimes. But just remembering these things, kilowatt hours, it's got a H on the end for hours. So that means time. Kilowatts is just power, how much you're getting right now. So you put your hairdryer on and it's one kilowatt hairdryer. It's one kilowatt it's running at. If you've got it on for an hour at one kilowatt, you have a really hot head. Um, and you'd have paid one kilowatt hours worth of energy or you'd have used one kilowatt hour out of your battery. So that's the simple definition between those two terms. In real terms, when it comes to solar, panels and inverters will be measured in kilowatts. Storage will be used in kilowatt hours. Payback periods are generally um, kilowatt hours because it's hours over time, how many in a year you're going to produce. And... Um, they're, the, they're the only things you need to know really. Um, kilowatts instant is less important than kilowatt hours because kilowatt hours is where your energy savings comes from, it's where your tariffs come into it, it's where your payback periods are judged from. Where kilowatts do come into it, if you know in your home you've got a, a two kilowatt appliance that's going to be running at the same time as another two kilowatt appliance, you're going to need four kilowatts of energy available. That means your battery and your solar together need to be able to provide that amount of kind of throughput. Imagine a funnel with a bottleneck as the sun's dripping down, you know, that, that bottleneck is your inverter. If you want to bring that much power through at once, you're going to have to have the kilowatt rating to suit. If your kilowatt rating is lower than what you need, the rest is going to come from grid. For a good example of this, we've got an induction hob at home, we've got a kettle. When the kettle and the induction hob are on in the evening, our battery has a three kilowatt inverter. So three kilowatts hits from the battery, the rest comes from the grid because it's all the battery can manage. It's got 20 kilowatt hours of storage and it might be full, but that three kilowatt, that's the difference. So kilowatt power at once, kilowatt hours, power over time. So if this video was useful, we've got lots more videos like this on our YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe, drop us a like, and if you have any questions at all, leave a comment. We are solar installers based in Derby. My name's Ben, my company name's Electrical Innovations. Feel free to get in touch if you need any help, and I hope to see you on the next video.